Hi everyone, today for you guys I'm going to do the if all my makeup disappeared, what are the products that I would buy first. And I think that you're supposed to limit this to 10 products, but realistically that would be way too hard for me to try to uh, narrow down to because I have products that I absolutely love and products that I love I tend to have like the same amount of love for if that makes any sense. Like uh, my Too Faced Boudoir Eyes Palette, my Lorac Pro Palette that I'm going to show later. Those are two products that I love equally so I couldn't really pick between them so these are just all the products that I would repurchase if somebody were to steal all my makeup which let's be honest that would be traumatizing and that would absolutely suck but yeah with that let's get so on. I'm gonna start with foundations the first two I really couldn't pick between these because I use them just about equally as much the NARS sheer glow and the bare minerals matte foundation I used to absolutely hate the NARS sheer glow I don't know why I just don't really think that I found a way to work with it well I find that this foundation applies best at least on me if I use a stippling brush which ever since I discovered the L small stipple brush and then the real technique stippling brush it has just increased my love for this and then the bare minerals matte foundation which is like my go-to every day I don't need tons of coverage but I want just an overall evening out of my skin tone these are just amazing foundations and I would really recommend both of these and seriously the NARS sheer glow itself would suck to repurchase because this is like almost a $50 foundation so this would create a huge dent in my wallet and I would not really appreciate that but I don't think I could really go on without this because I seriously use this at least like two or three times a week. As for concealer I'd probably repurchase the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer. I really like this for underneath the eyes. I find that on blemishes it doesn't provide um, as much coverage as I originally thought it would saying that it's a tattoo concealer. It's really not that high of coverage. I would say it's about medium to high coverage but it's not like maximum full coverage type of of concealing but I would repurchase this because I could use it on blemishes if I needed to and I could use it underneath my eyes to so kind of be like my all-in-one product and then for a powder because I would need something to set this and something to set the um, NARS sheer glow I'd probably pick up the Revlon nearly naked because it's affordable it works just as nicely as my higher-end powders it's really creamy it's nicely mattifying without being too cakey looking and I can reapply it throughout the day if I get oily so this is a really, really great powder, and I would definitely have to repurchase this along with the concealer. Alrighty, now moving on to some eye products. The first thing I would need would be an eyeshadow primer because I have extremely oily eyelids, and if I don't wear an eyeshadow primer, I just get creasing. My makeup, by the end of the day, my eye makeup just looks absolutely dreadful, and so it's really important to me that I have an eyeshadow primer. I would probably buy the Bare Minerals Primetime Eyeshadow Primer. This is just a little mini guy that I have, but this stuff is seriously like glue. It will just make your eyeshadow adhere to your eyes like nobody's business. I mentioned this in one of my Get Ready With Me videos. For this look actually, which I don't know if I'll post it before or after this video, but anyway, um, I mentioned how I used this one day and then I put my eyeshadows on top of it and I decided I didn't really like the eye makeup look that I was doing, so I took a Neutrogena makeup wipe and I tried to take off my eye makeup and it seriously would not come off. This stuff makes your eye makeup just totally waterproof, slip proof, Life proof in general. It's just an amazing, amazing eyeshadow primer. I definitely recommend this. For actual eyeshadows, kind of like as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes Palette and the Lorac Pro Palette. I think that with these two eyeshadow palettes, seriously, as far as eyeshadow is concerned, I would be totally set for a little while until I could like rebuild my collection. Um, the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes Palette is my favorite eyeshadow palette I own because it's full of beautiful taupes and plums and champagnes. And I love cooler toned eyeshadows. And as I mentioned, in a lot of my videos this is just a staple palette for me now there's not a shade in this palette that I don't like and it's just an it's just amazing I use it at least again like three or four times a week and then the Lorac Pro palette which has all of like those staple colors that I think you should have like a matte brown you have some matte creamy colors some champagne some gold a matte black just colors that you know with this palette I could pull together a few different makeup looks that are a little bit warmer not as cool toned as the Boudoir Eyes palette and it'd be a nice starting point for me to rebuild my collection because it has so many of like I said those staple colors that I could use to supplement other palettes that I would be buying um, if someone and took all my makeup so yeah 
Definitely these two. Eyeliner. This is going to come as no surprise. L'Oreal Carbon Black Extra Intense Liquid Eyeliner Pencil. This is an amazing black liner. Seriously, if you are using any other type of black liner, you are doing yourself an injustice because as soon as you use this, you will just be forever changed in your views on black eyeliner. There is not a black liner that I've tried that is as black, as creamy, and as long-lasting as this one is. And I have tried tons of black eyeliners because I'm a black eyeliner fanatic and nothing has ever been able to come close to this or compare to this. So definitely I would need to repurchase this. I however would really also like a liquid liner. So the L'Oreal, the super slim infallible liquid liner I'd pick up. Uh, I think the liquid liner is just kind of nice for days that I don't necessarily want to do like a push lining method or maybe I just want something that's going to be really like quick and easy. I really enjoy this because it's got a super super thin tip. It's very black. Mine is starting to dry out a tiny bit. But I like how it sort of has like this rubberized handle so you can get a nice grip on the liner. I think the packaging looks really, really nice, very sleek and slim. It's a really good drugstore black liner. Time for a mascara. I would buy the Benefit They're Real. This is a little sample guy, but as soon as I run out of this, I'm buying the full size thing because I used to own the full size and then I got the sample. Now I realize how much I love it, so I have to get the full size again. This is the mascara that I'm wearing today. I just honestly feel like it makes my lashes look so nice and dramatic. And I I like how it's very, very long wearing. You don't get any flakes with this, any smears or smudges, so that's really nice. The only thing that kind of sucks about that is that if you get it anywhere on your eyelids, it's an absolute pain to try to take off, but I would rather have to deal with that than have to deal with a mascara flaking all over the place. And then uh, for a drugstore option, the Neutrogena Healthy Links, this is another one I'd pick up because this is my sort of like everyday uh, natural kind of like just enhanced lashes look. This really makes them look really full and very fluttery. Uh, this gives my lashes more of like that fake appearance. I mean you can kind of tell that I have mascara on when I wear this but with this it's almost undetectable. I just sort of have like these beautiful long fluttery voluminous lashes. So this is another one I definitely have to buy. For eyebrows, I would have to purchase the Anastasia Brunette Slash Dark Brown Brow Powder Duo. That's a lot of bees, I feel like. Uh, this is what that looks like. This is raved about all over YouTube. It's just seriously the best brow powder ever. There's nothing that really compares to it. It has a nice cool tone to it, which I think is a lot more flattering on the brows um, rather than like warmer tone brow powders. And it just lasts a really long time. I've seriously had this forever and I haven't even hit pan. I'm getting close on... Uh, this sort of lighter color here, but um, yeah, it's just amazing. The only downside is the price tag. It is quite pricey, but I definitely feel like it's worth it. All right, moving on to face products. I would have to purchase three blushes, which I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but I have three that I wear consistently that I at least wear all of these blushes at least once a week with many of these two to three times a week. Um, the first one, though, would have to be the Rimmel Last You Finish Santa Rose Blush. This is my favorite blush of all time and honestly I could maybe go without the other two for a little while if I had to but I could not go without this. It's a beautiful like light pink. It's very nice and warm and it just looks gorgeous on the cheeks. It's not overly shimmery and it's really inexpensive. For a more of a corally blush option I have to buy the Milani Baked Blush in Luminosa which is what I'm wearing today. It's a gorgeous corally pink. Really warm and pretty and not overly shimmery. And then for like just a uh, blush that could go well with like smoky eyes and stuff like that, um, Tarte's Exposed Amazonian Clay Blush. This is a beautiful like plummy, rosy, tan color. And I really like this when I'm wearing like smokier eye looks. And just, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, it's, it's a very nice blush. So those three for sure. And then for a bronzer, the Revlon Photo Ready Bronzer. This has completely replaced my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I still wear my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer pretty regularly, but if all my makeup was stolen and I had to pick one bronzer to go with, it'd definitely be this because it's a lot more uh, cheap first off. That's always nice. And I like how you sort of get a variety of tones here. It's very smooth, very pigmented, it's nice and matte, and overall it's just an amazing product. And finally, we're on to lips. I actually kind of only have one lipstick type of an option, and this is the Maybelline Color Whisper in Mocha Muse, if you guys can imagine. I am obsessed with this. It's the perfect nudie pink, my lips but better shade, whatever you want to say. It's really, really flattering. It just sort of takes my natural lip color and just 
um, amps it up a little bit, you know. It's not anything too vampy. It's not too nude. It still makes my complexion look nice and sort of like perky and bright. And it just goes with absolutely everything. So, And then for lip glosses, I have two. I don't really have tons of lipsticks because lipsticks are something that I kind of go in and out of phases with. Um, for me, a gloss is really important because I really like shiny lips. So I'd probably purchase some lip glosses before I purchase some lipsticks. And the first one would be the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Vanilla Cream Pie. Let you guys see that name there. This is my perfect pink lip gloss because it has a nice like yellowy undertone which really looks uh, flattering on my skin tone. It's very comfortable to wear. feels very like cushiony on the lips and it's nicely moisturizing. It's pretty decently pigmented and overall I just I really love the NYX Butter um, glosses and that one is my favorite for like a pink gloss. And then the next one would be the L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Lip Gloss in Coral Sands, which is sort of like my nudie, corally option. I love this for days that I want sort of like a bronzy look. Maybe I want a corally look. It actually corresponds, I think, well with the look that I have on today. Uh, it's just sort of like one of my go-to glosses for me. I like how long wearing it is. I like the pigmentation. And overall, it's just a really, really pretty, everyday, corally nude gloss. Alrighty, so that is it. That, those are all the products that I repurchased if all my makeup was stolen. <laughs> uh, that, like I said, would just be absolutely terrible. And the idea of that makes me want to cry because I have so many other products that I love. But as far as like staple products, products, that I use very, very regularly. These are it, and these are products that I couldn't go very long without. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, and I'll talk to you all later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.